Hi friends, couple of products already on my face. Couple of products are coming up. Actually, it is a partial get ready with me video. So let's get started. Mostly L'Oreal pairing my L'Oreal with my staple products. Done. All geared up. So starting with my L'Oreal foundation. This is my True Match Super Blendable Makeup and my shade is Sun Beige. I love this product because it is very blendable super blendable actually also it gives me a nice coverage along with luminosity which is always a plus for me you know i just love to use my fingers to blend the foundation first and then if i feel the need i can go ahead with my brush or isn't this lip color gorgeous i just didn't want to take it off i started my day with this this is my chanel pirate i just love to wear this lipstick so i'm not going to take that off i'm going to pair it up with something else and that is coming from l'oreal i used my lorac mega pro for my brow makeup today i'm going to redo it if you want me to create a video with this palette i can always do that look at the colors these are very gorgeous colors and I really love to play with this palette. I think many of you might have this palette back on track with my L'Oreal makeup sponge to blend it a little more. But most of the time, fingers are good enough to blend the foundation for me. And now my concealer. You know, I love to use this concealer. This is my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I have used a lot of products from L'Oreal and I love the products but there are a couple of products that I haven't explored yet and I will do it soon. When you have a lipstick on, it is even more tricky to blend the concealer. But I'm going to do so because I do not want to take this beautiful color off. Have you ever tried a concealer or blush from L'Oreal? I haven't tried that yet. And I think I need to try that pretty soon. So if you have any suggestion, you can share that with me. And I will give it a try. I start my day with a lovely lipstick and there is a video on that as well when i go for a morning walk i put on a lovely lipstick and of course my brows and uh, that would be all during my morning time yeah so the lip color is still on my lips i just feel happy to put on a beautiful color and get started with my day so when i go out for a walk I make sure I apply a lipstick or a lip balm or something tinted on my lips and that is something I've been following I don't know from how many years <laughs> I just enjoy that there are some of my lipsticks that are very very close to my heart and when I put them on I do not want to take them off okay so the concealer is on and a little bit of powder and now you will see me getting on my l'oreal train this powder is absolutely well loved and i'm going to get another one pretty soon i need to because this is a pressed powder that i truly truly enjoy and i think i haven't tried any other pressed powder after i started using this powder this is my l'oreal super blendable pressed powder sun beige and today I'm not going to use my Laura Mercier powder. I love that powder as well. But just to show you that it has pretty good coverage. At the same time, it gives me a nice smooth finish. And when I'm in a mood to use only pressed powder, I reach out for this powder. I even gifted one to my mom. She enjoys it. In fact, I made a video on the products that I shared with my mom and she truly enjoys it. Pretty good coverage, right? And look at the finish. It's very smooth, very beautiful. And it is actually keeping my luminous foundation effect intact. And that is something very important to me. I just 
love luminosity and glowy skin feel all the time now i can take it off next is my blush i do not have a l'oreal blush i need to try one so if you have any suggestion please feel free to leave a comment and this is my milani romantic rose blush i love to apply this blush as well so going with this one as my bronzer as my blush not going to use any highlight today just keeping it matte love it it's a very beautiful soft shade and i just love it smile always smile when you are applying blush actually blush makes me smile even more some products are absolutely enjoyable and this is one of that when a product remotely has a rose twist to it i just love to use it anyways because i love roses it used to look like a beautiful bloomed rose but now i have used it yeah quite a bit so you can see that look at the blush effect this is also a multitasking product you know i love to use it as my bronzer and i love to use it as my blush and when i want to use something matte on my cheeks i usually go for this beautiful matte blush awesome a little bit on the temple i love the effect of this and jawline yeah always it started snowing here yeah somehow i'm feeling that this look is going with the snow love that beautiful rosy dusty rose effect okay the blush is on now time to apply my brow product one more time real techniques brush and again using my lorac mega pro palette nice match it's a pretty nice match for my hair color and that's why i love to apply it on my brows okay so brows on point time to apply some brow gel this is my essence make me brow gel love it a little something extra to add a little bit more volume so it's just awesome i always go light handed with this because it has a nice tint to it and that also adds a beautiful color and effect you know i'm a color lover okay so this is done i look yeah as i mentioned that i'm going to pair my l'oreal with some staple products so you know my love for viseart golden hour palette as well going to start with that and then i'm going to pair that with something gorgeous from l'oreal grab your colors and get started it's our makeup play time i love to use this mirror all right base eyeshadow brush from real techniques going to take my warm brown for transition and a little bit on the crease light handed beautiful contouring right here with you my friends this mix and match i love it you know that if you watch my channel on a regular basis you know that i love palette remix i love to mix and match different products and create something gorgeous also sometimes i stick to one palette as well so there are couple of ways to play with the makeup collection do you love to pull different palettes and take one shade from one palette and another from the different one to create something on your eyes or you love to stick to one palette when you are creating a look or you like to remix mix and match share it with me it will be fun to interact with all of you and it is a very nice chance for me to connect with all of you and if you are here for the first time subscribe so little by little building up building blending something that i always follow when it comes to my colors right 
pulling it a little bit down here nothing is on my brush just leftover of color actually I want to try this color as well this is a very nice buttery shade tapping off the excess and going right here just to add a little something extra you can also tone down the intensity of a color with the shade it is a pretty beautiful and buttery shade usually I use this shade for my brow bones but most of the time I do not use anything on my brow bones but when I do I like this shade this is matte buttery actually I'm using this shade to mix it with that warm brown and see the effect love it these are colors my friends we can play we can do different things we can create different combinations happy combinations with these colors this is done l'oreal infallible eyeshadow golden emerald you know the shade names are in the description box okay so check that out gorgeous green shade it is a pretty beautiful shade you see the golden green touch just love it my finger to pat this color on my lid taking my time with my golden emerald little by little pressing building batting look at that beautiful golden touch to it gorgeous 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 just the way it is and this is one of those shades that gives me a single eyeshadow look as well some shades are just outstanding I just love it a little bit dusting I just love the shade and you have received my praise now time for the other one midnight blue from the seam line L'Oreal infallible eyeshadow the name is so true to color look at that just just look at that I just love this shade love it and now I'm going to be very very pinpointed with this one so going to take my patting brush my patting brush is ready to help me here a very pinpointed work here and then a little bit with my finger as well I just want an overlap here with the green I have only these two shades from L'Oreal infallible eyeshadow range I would definitely want to try a couple of more from that line so if you have anything in your collection that's your favorite let me know light blend in here beautiful and this is the first round you can stop here but I'm going to go for the second round with the colors gently patting the green again I think I'm holiday ready with this green look at the color punch there beautiful this eye my friends this patting brush is my old friend from India I love using this brush when I want to pat the colors on my lid in fact a very pinpointed way this brush can work and as you can see I am building the color because I am in love with this color all over again actually whenever I work with this color I see that look at that just just gorgeous and now the blue one more time my blue needs to get some more attention both are my favorites this is my blending brush from elf and i love the cut of this brush because it gives me a nice arrow shape i'm in a gorgeous makeup mode today i hope you are too people have started decorating for christmas i also need to start 
<laughs> decorating my home sweet home with Christmas stuff. I'm pretty excited. So starting with my eye makeup. If I add a little bit red eyeshadow, it will feel like Christmassy. I can totally do that because I love red eyeshadows, right? I will save it for the Christmas party look. But I like the blue touch here on the outer corner. Just giving me a very nice, nice finish here. Now nothing is on my brush, but I'm trying to blend it with that warm brown and that buttery shade on the outer corners as well. If you have a little bit of fallout, not to worry. I love to use this brush when I get a little bit of fallout sometimes. I think this takes care of that. Coming back to my Viseart Golden Hour. Again, going to use this one. A little bit of warmth. I'm taking it down a little. Actually, on my lower lash line. It is a very beautiful brown shade. It gives me a nice contour, definition, effect there. So coming back to these two shades again and covering my lower lash line with those two. I'm going to take my smudge brush and I will see my green. Just a dabbing effect here. Oh, the sun is coming out. So it's bright and sunny now. A little bit of that blue overlapping it with the green. I think I'm going to go back to that buttery shade one more time from Viseart and this is a nice punch tip. I like to use these tools. Yeah, the brightening effect. This just opens up the whole eye look and I'm going a little beyond that, you know, on the inner corners and a little bit here. So when I want to use these two shades in a smoky way, I don't use a buttery or light shade towards the inner corners but today I want a little bit of smokiness that is always there with all of my looks I guess but today I want to use that beautiful buttery shade towards the inner corners so that it gives me a nice open up look. Do you see that? The brightening effect. The light shades have their own magic. So that's it my friends. I'm going to curl my lashes, apply a couple of coats of mascara and of course I'm going to play with the liners too. Liquid liner and pencil liner and then I will join you with the finished look. But I have some bonus things from L'Oreal of course. So just wait and watch. my liner work. Actually a little something extra. Taking this matte black eyeshadow from Viseart and going all over my upper lash line. Have a mirror here. It just intensifies the look. I just love that. Love that touch. And you know this black is my absolute favorite because it is rich, it is pigmented, it is matte, everything beautiful about it. Okay, time to take a closer look. You know, in between the gaps, that trick helps. Okay, my friends, time to apply my lip color from L'Oreal. Fuchsia Orchestra from L'Oreal. Lovely gloss. I just love to play with this one a lot. It gives me a beautiful glossy touch look at the applicator super easy super glossy and this is the color I have applied it on my Chanel pirate red lipstick I'm loving the look look at the glossy touch just love this lip gloss wear it on its own or pair it with something gorgeous 
Today, I paired it with my favorite lipstick. Awesome combo. Just love it. These two together. Beautiful fuchsia red lips today. And now my friends, three more things to share with you if you care about your hair. Yeah. So because this is my mostly L'Oreal video, shampoo, conditioner and serum. I love this from the L'Oreal Everline. Yes, I think it's a diverse line. I have the ever strong conditioner. I wanted to try this ever curl shampoo with coconut oil. Yes, I really enjoy this ever line. Also, there is a serum which I totally love and I need to get a new one. This is my L'Oreal Extraordinary Oil. Love it. Love to apply it. It just detangles my hair pretty quickly and gives me a nice silky smooth finish. So that's it my friends. This is the look of the day and I hope you enjoyed the video and I think couple of these products may be your favorites too. So share your favorites with me on the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't already and come back soon because there will be another fun video on my channel pretty soon. Rock the look. Bye.